Hey everyone, welcome back to Frostpunk and the new DLC on the edge. So we have made a trading route with Shipwreck Camp. So now we're getting steady flow of wood. I'm working on the same thing with Hot Springs so we can get food. And we received a message. It's not your problem, but since we now work together, we thought you might want to have a say. Some of our people, when we trusted, were exposed as murderers. We don't want them amongst us. You were the one that wanted to start over all fresh and such. We, we destroyed the registry. Uh, obviously. But we've known them for a long time. We feel that we deserve at least a chance of survival. They agreed to leave in peace if we give them some gear and supplies that will make them sound less like a death sentence. Can you help us provide them supplies? Nah, yeah, sure, we, we'll get enough food when we uh, get this trade route up and running. But we need more steel. Raising the output by 15%. Nice. Can we research more? Steam lorries. Hmm. 150 wood. Yeah, we don't have that. Insulation. Let's close this one down for now. Can we get some food? Yes. Cold homes. Uh, yeah, I know, but I can't uh, can't do anything more. I know you're cold. I can't build houses. I don't have the wood supply for it. Okay, the sicker. They're being treated. Ah, we received food. Very good. At least that won't be a problem. Um, I can spam them. There we go. The Lost Scouts. We found the camp and the bodies of members of Scout's team. One of our people recognized his friends who disappeared during the Great Storm. Apparently after losing contact with New London, they built the camp to wait out the worst weather. We'd like to bury them properly, for which we'll need some wood. We can't be asking for your approval. 40 wood will be spent. Well, I guess you can try. I don't think I have the wood, but sure. <laughs> oh, I must have gotten some. Okay, let's go to the next one. <coughs> See, Shipwreck Cramp is now sending us a steady supply of wood. Which is good. Um, now we need to quickly build the supply route to help... Uh, What's your name? Hot Springs. So we can get food. Uh, in the meantime, we're waiting for steel. Lots and lots of steel. Okay, yep. next step. Okay, everything went as planned. Great service, but yeah, okay, the same message as before. 
Okay, go to the next one. It takes about four hours, so... Okay, we're doing good on food, it's just very cold. I don't have any way to warm them up. Our medical staff reports from shipwreck camp. These people are hardened and skilled workers. Their bodies carry numerous scars from their injuries suffered while working in dangerous and sometimes toxic conditions. Nevertheless, they seem surprisingly healthy, although many of them currently suffer from uh, various maladies caused by malnutrition and bad living conditions. I see. Well, we're helping them, aren't we? I just want these trace roots up first. Uh, oh, we need wood. Are we getting wood? Uh, I just want food. I guess we can spare some. There then. It's time to rest. You earned it. Incoming wood. Okay, very good. fire has seriously damaged many buildings and we are now sure it was arson. We don't know who did it or why. We'll find out and deal with them. This kind of stupid shit serves no one and we won't let it happen again. We have to ask you for resources to repair the damage. We could do much more with some proper planning and engineering, but that will take a lot of time and resources we can't ask you for. Um. We will help you rebuild. I don't know what... Yeah, we can send you more steel, I mean. Just do our best to get them as friendly as possible. That's the whole deal, because we want their help against New London. Uh, okay. Built that last route. We need food. Yeah, everything is planned. Carry on. Uh, well, you guys can come home now. Let's see, if we're, with these supplies we're now getting, we might be able to help the children's mine as well. Okay, we confirm that a safe route between our settlements have been successfully established. It will allow us to quickly respond to emergencies and give us much needed sense of stability. From now on, we'll be sending you shipments of raw food every other day. We hope this route will benefit a boat art prop peoples. Great news! Yay! Okay. Okay, it's almost time for some warmth back. Minus 50 is just a bit more easy than minus 60. More easy to, to manage, I mean. Sir, one of our people in Hot Springs has died, and the locals want to use his body as crop fertilizer, just like they do with their own. I have one of one of his friends on the line. They want to compost Frank, the sick bastard. Sir, please don't let them do it. They will take offense, but fuck their feelings. Okay, hope will rise. Hot Springs will be displeased. Uh. Well, hope is very high. I can I can manage a tiny, tiny little drop. Stop whining and, and use your body for food. It's a hard time. We need to make sacrifices. Any food incoming? Yes, and wood. Very good. 
Let's see, what, what can we send? Ah, uh, they got enough. Let's see. Supplies for the exiled. But yeah, that's all our food. Uh... Ah, five engineers. I don't really want to. What do you guys need? Probably... Food, steel and wood. Okay, I need to wait for some... Uh, I need to wait for some wood incoming from the other camp. came back but I'm not disbanding them because I'm using them to make the trade route to the children's mine not that we really need it because we have way more coal than necessary actually uh. okay it's almost here There we go. Mm. Upper houses. Ah, oh, we just got food and that's all good. And they need... Yeah, it's okay. For the help with rebuilding. Okay, we need to build this one up. There. Ah, oh, there we go. Go oh, up to 50. Yeah, much better. But we went through fine. Only five people sick and they're being treated, so all good. Okay, now we just need to wait for the shipments to get to them. Hi. The new Londoners are coming. Okay. Sir, a large group of people is heading to our city from New London. We don't know their intention, but we must assume that's the vanguard of the punitive expedition. The moment of truth is coming. They will be here to test the resolve. We must wait. Can we see them? Ten hours. Okay, well... Let's see what they uh, have in store. You know, if we can send... Ah, uh, we don't have enough wood. There, all my promises kept. A hidden graveyard. Sir, our people made the disturbing discovery. While preparing a place for a gathering post, they followed a path trodden in the snow which led them deeper into the frozen forest. They found a clearing with about twenty graves, and one of them lies the captain's head. Our people think that the ship's crew is, bur is buried there, presumably by the locals. I just don't mention it. They've, they've been dead for a very long time. Nobody cares. Move long. Here they come. <coughs> well, so are we. We're starving too. 
trouble in New London. Oh, they're not here to punish us. They're here for help. That's no punitive expedition. These are ordinary people. Their delegates are here to ask for help. We fled the hunger and chaos of New London. Everything is falling apart there. Healthcare, the coal supply, even the generator. The administration just argues over what to do when no decisions are made. Help us, please. You're our only hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Some of our people recognize their friends and relatives among the refugees. Are embracing them and taking them home. We have no choice. We must welcome them. Hi! <laughs> welcome. I mean, I don't have shit for you guys to do, but welcome. Outpost 11. That's our, our name. We heard some people from our city have reached you. What they tell you is mostly true. We lost some crops, had a food, sh food shortage and you sawdust. Had labor shortages, then the generator malfunctioned and things got out of control. To prevent panic, we tried to cover up the scale of the crisis. That's why we didn't tell you. We urgently need resources and people. Our relations weren't good recently, but please, can you help us? New London can't fall. Yeah, we'll, we'll think about it, dude. <laughs> time to decide. New London is collapsing. We don't have much time to reach a decision before we do it. We can consult with other settlements. We should listen to our people. What we do now will change the future, not only for us, but for all the people in Frostland. Okay. Oh, we need homes. Uh. Oh wait, one is enough. And they need healthcare. I think that one should be able to do it. You helped us greatly. Now I can admit that without your support we would have all died one by one but in a few months, most likely. And what's more, you decided to trust us, even when some of us betrayed this trust. For now, there's nothing we could ask you to do. Thank you. That we could help. Fate of New London. How quickly the mood has changed. We were ready to fight New London. Now many want to help them despite the huge cost. After all, people still have friends and relatives there. On the other hand, if we let New London fall, we could take full control of it. Although many of the inhabitants would die, we would also have to repair for a massive wave of refugees. I see, I see. Yeah, let's send them some more help. Well, we have enough people now, we just don't have the wood. Uh, well, let's go ask them at least. Shipwreck camp. Communicate. Speak your mind. Can you help us with New London? All those wealthy New Londoners are scum. No offense, pal, you're different, but they can go to hell with their generators and fancy houses. They grew too big and the world will cut them down. If you help them, they'll only stab you in the back, mark my words. In the end, each of us will stand and fall on their own. We say let New London fall. We owe you. We will help you whatever you do. Thank you. Uh, we'd like to, to build a charcoal kilns. Okay, sure. Can you help us? Uh, and we need wood, actually. Thank you. Um. Uh, just uh, give it a moment. Because I want to see if I can raise at least. Because they are done. 
but they need a lot of work still. Okay. Up the tempo. We can't endure much longer. Hear us out. We beg you. We treated you badly, misled you, and we were wrong. Though we believe we are one people, we'll, we will respect your autonomy. Let me, yeah. Uh, if you save our city. If you refuse, many will die, but many more will flee to your outpost, every other settlement they can get to. We can't possibly accommodate, accommodate them all. So many lives are at stake. Please don't forsake them. What is your answer? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll help you. And I didn't even have the time to ask the other outposts what they wanted to do. Uh, the economy is in shambles. We will need a lot of coal to keep them warm. To do the coal, a lot of the workers are sick. Which means that our people will have to replace them. The firmish will heal the gravely ill, but to build them, we need to send steel and steam cores. The food economy is stretched in maximum since the beginning, so the shipment of food rations will be a great aid. Well... Food's not gonna work, is it? We heard we just shows to spare the tops. Too bad. But it's your choice, as we said. At last, we'll too have to face the consequences. We'll send them the workers they need to get on their good side. And keep an eye on them. We know a thing or two about generators. Having built a few, we'll take a look at theirs. Thank you. Ah, oh, but I didn't have time to ask the other two. We sad to hear about the plight of New London. It reminds us of the tragic fate of Winterhome. We should try to help them. Some of our children might have relatives there. If we leave them to their fate, many will die, and this world saw too much death already. The decision is yours, but whether you choose to save New London or not, we'll help you as much as we can. We must stand together or freeze alone. Uh, like your proper houses. Okay, sure. Uh, can you help us? We need some workers. Uh, not really, never mind. Bye. And hot springs. We don't know much of New London, but it seems to us, unlike you, its people fail to adapt to a changed world. If you let their city fall, they will strengthen your ranks and learn your ways. If you help them instead, your people might yet become assimilated by them. And nature is our ultimate judge, and it's useless to dispute their rulings. Whatever you decide, we won't deny you the help you ask for. Thank you. Let me help you. Uh, repair the damage done by the Geyser eruption. More work and hands will be necessary. Yeah, we need food. Thank you. So that means that here, actually, it would be a good thing to ask for workers. Thank you. There we go. Let's see. Uh, no, no, this one. Then coal. You and a lot of food. How am I supposed to get 200 food? Well, that's something to figure out next time. Yeah, we achieved a lot, and I do think that the next episode might be the last one of this series. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.